What's going on? My name's Robert, and you are watching Southpaw Auto Works. One of my subscribers recently uploaded a video to their YouTube channel. The video is about a 4L60E rebuild. Uh, this 4L60E is ultimately going to go behind a 5.3 liter LS engine, and it's actually going into a 1990 Jaguar uh, XJS. The video my subscriber put together uh, is pretty much like a documentary. He's documenting the steps, not everything in great detail per se, because it is a lot to try to document and film. But uh, he just kind of covers, you know, uh, some of the teardown and uh, some of the things that stood out to him, and of course, some of the obstacles that he encountered. One of those obstacles was the 2 4 servo. Uh, he had a hell of a time trying to get this 2 4 servo out of the uh, transmission case, and I've been there, done that. Um, if my memory serves me correct, he said that it took him like five hours to get it out. Um, he wound up coming up with kind of like a makeshift uh, slide hammer uh, in order to get this thing out. But I'm making this video because there is an easier way. In the next segment of this video, I'm going to share a couple of the tips and tricks that I was taught that make removing the 2.4 servo really straightforward, really easy, really fast. As you can see, this 2.4 servo and this 4L60E has been cleaned up. It's not perfect, but it's pretty clean. Now normally when the transmission comes out of the vehicle, the whole transmission case is covered in like this dirt and grime, this kind of like light sludge, and this 2.4 servo is no exception to that. So in order to get this thing out and not have any problems, it just comes down to a little minor house cleaning. So what I do is I take a wire brush and I'll end up scrubbing around this snap ring groove and in this bore here I scrub all this out try to shove this brush down into that groove and work my way all the way around and then I'll also even take a pocket screwdriver or a scribe or a pick whatever you want to call it and work it around in here and try to knock all that that dirt and grime out of there I'll do that and then I'll take the brake cleaner and try to rinse this out real good and then uh, hit it with some compressed air, blow everything out, and then if it still doesn't look clean enough, it's just rinse and repeat. Scrub, pick, uh, shoot brake clean on it, and then blow it out with compressed air. Once you've got that cleaned out, it's just a matter of popping the snap ring out, and then this cover will wiggle right out uh, to the point where you can get to that blue o-ring. In other words, you're not going to have problems getting this cover to pop out just a little bit. So again, just simple house cleaning goes a long ways. Speaking of the snap ring, on this 2-4 servo bore at the 3 o'clock position and the 6 o'clock position, they have these little cutouts or windows. This is designed so you can get a screwdriver up and underneath the, uh, the snap ring in here and pop that up and out. But there's a trick to this that makes it a lot easier. The opening on the snap ring right now happens to be positioned at the 12 o'clock position. It could be positioned anywhere on here. Point being, you can take a flat tip screwdriver and set it against the open edge of the snap ring and hit it smartly with a hammer and you'll be able to walk the opening of the snap ring around to one of these windows. Now you don't want the opening of the snap ring to line up with either one of these openings. I'd set it right next to there. I'll show you what I mean by that. A quick heads up, that screwdriver that you're using to uh, drive the snap ring around the bore, it's possible for that screwdriver to slip off of that snap ring and uh, hit the inside of that bore and uh, cause damage. Just wanted you to be aware of that, something to be mindful of as you're working. Now you can see that I've moved the snap ring groove right here, right next to this opening. I can now take that same flat tip screwdriver, set it up against the snap ring, give it a little tap and a twist, and up and out the snap ring comes. I like to then use a pocket screwdriver, stick it up under the snap ring, use the cover as leverage, and then I just slide it around and then keep a hand on the snap ring because it's going to want to shoot out. Wiggle 
and out it comes. As soon as you've got the snap ring removed from the servo cover, you're gonna to wanna to come back in here and clean again because when this thing pops out, it always seems to dislodge more debris and any of that debris can get contaminate the edges of this cover and make it like impossible to get the cover out of the case. Now this is coming out all the way. Normally you're gonna have a blue O-ring around this servo cover, but I've already pulled this one out and cut it. But you'll, you'll pull this cover out as far as you can and then you're gonna reach in through this opening here with a hook and pull out part of this, as much of this O-ring as you can. You're gonna pull a little bit out, it'll look something something like so, sticking out like that. And then I just cut it with some uh, side cutters and then pull the whole rope out, or the whole O-ring, I'm sorry, pull the whole O-ring out, and then this cover will come right off. And maybe you'll need to use channel locks, you know, grab onto the end of it with channel locks and work it out real gently, but it should come out real easy as long as you've taken the time to clean this up really good. I hope that the tips and tricks that I've shared in this short video serve you well. Uh, my goal with this is just to keep rebuilding fun because these kind of setbacks, especially the ones that take hours, man, really, really makes rebuilding not fun and uh, that defeats the whole point of doing this. I would love to hear from you. Drop me a line in the comment section down below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell too so you don't miss any future videos. If you're interested in helping the Southpaw Auto Works YouTube channel grow, there are a number of ways that you can get involved. Check out the video description down below for more details. Catch you next time.